is up, cool kids? My name's Gavin, I'm that cool trainer, and before we get into anything real in the episode, let's see if we can actually get this fossil. Hello, hello, how are you? I saw your Pokemon fossils, me, right here and now. You have a fossil for me, yes, yeah, so I turned into a Pokemon, yes! Alright. Okay. What do you have for me, glasses? I'll take a print plop. That is fine. I will gladly take a print plop. Let's go. Alright, add into the squad. Um, you're a male. Um, let's name you. Mm -mm. Hopper. I don't know why. It just seems like a good name for a penguin. So, that's joining the squad. Let me grab that. You know what? That'll just be on there for next, uh, when we pick up the episode in just a second. So, I will see you back in Eterna City. What is up, cool kids? My name's Gavin, I'm back, cool trainer. And we are back again today for episode 9 of the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you're excited, welcome a new member to the squad. We now have Hopper the Print Club. Level 20. Hasty nature. I don't know what that does off the top of my head. But with the Torrent ability, obviously. Water Sport, Pack, Metal Claw, and Bubble Beam. Um, well, special attack right now is a lot better than its physical attack. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I don't know what we do now off the top of my head. Um, this might be what we do. Thud. Hey, Gavin! You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Hi, Lola. Say hi to the people, Lola. Not a fan. Ow, ow. What the? So, this is Eternus City's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh by the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth is truth and its investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Yep, that's Lola. Scratching up the furniture. Oh wait! When we when we smack to get oh god. Why? Back together, a brilliant flash of inspiration gave me. As easy it would be a great trainer. An easy way to be a great trainer. Yeah. That's right. Something like that. Alright, listen close. Let's turn all of your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. If you do that, you'll never lose. You'll be an invis invisible trainer. Anyway, go back to the Pokemon statue. See you around. Okay. Good work, Molly. I'm gonna scoop up this item right here. A pearl. Normally it's a Draco plate. Not that I could really use a Draco plate right now, but... Um, oh, Encounter! I forgot I could Encounter right now. Alright, ooh, 211, what do we got? My poor fish! Um... Oh, yeah, it'll be decent power in the PC. Crawdon's pretty good. What did I name our Crawdon and Nature Page. Oh, this one's a male though. Um, I meant Andrew. Those are two people that I work with, just for context. Uh, two people that I work with uh, during the school year. I shouldn't kill them, I'm choice spec. But... Okay. That was an icy wind, not even ice beam. Alright then. Oh, speaking of encounters, um, you know, you know where we killed the Rhyperior before? There were Celebes in there. So I just found out from my sister, like they're they're over on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Um, her and her boyfriend, well now fiance, he proposed to her. So super excited for my sister. Congrats to them. He's one of my best friends. I've known him. Like we played, we were on the same basketball team. 
Um, we've been best friends since like seventh grade, so. Well, since I was, since I was in seventh grade, he was in eighth grade. But, you know, congrats to, congrats to them. Oh, that device you have. Is it a, it is a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Lola, what do you want? She's an indoor cat, and she's like that light right there, that's the toward the outside door that's like a mudroom. She just kind of sitting in there, yeah. Like, Lola, you can't leave. <sighs> okay, hello again. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying mythology, or Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokemon, Pokedex. I know, try using this, it should be helpful. Dope. Thanks, Cynthia. Remember, the hidden move cut can, can be used in the field. It will let you go places where previous, that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Alright. So I got the Spelunker kit, or whatever. Um... <clears throat> I think now we'll just go fight the gym. I guess we're doing a gym battle today. Oh, hello, Grady. Oh, there's an item back there. I want that. Okay. Question. This this isn't so much a question about the channel. Well, it sort of is, but it's, it's also a question about like what I should do. Um, because like my two options are I'm I'm trying to save money to either get a switch, get a new computer. Because like I like this computer, but as you can tell, we're having problems just running a DS emulator while recording. So doing too much else isn't really plausible at this point. Um, so and I just heard that. Uh, GameStop is going to be getting switches back in the store relatively soon. So I'm probably going to, um, I'm going out to town today and I'm probably going to stop and just be like, hey, is that true? Um, the switches on Amazon, not even a bundle, just a switch with one set of Joy-Cons on Amazon, sold by Nintendo, is $418. With nothing extra. Like, no game with it, no extra Joy-Cons, nothing. Four hundred and eighteen dollars. I'm like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so should I get a new computer, which I would probably spend around three to three hundred and fifty dollars on, or a new uh, or a switch, which would be about three hundred when they come. Pros and cons: new computer would be a desktop. It'd be stationary. I would um, be able to hopefully do. Pretty decent DS emulation on it. Um, this one I'm looking at, it's got 16 RAM, terabyte hard drive, uh, i5 processor, I think it's like 3.1 or 2 gigahertz. Um, so that would be that. Or a Switch, which I wouldn't, I only have, uh, I currently have Breath of the Wild for it, and that, but that's all that I have. Um, and then really the only other game that I would probably get right now might be um, Mario Kart. Probably I would get Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know if that's out yet or not. Um, and then in September I would get Pokémon, And that would pretty much be it for a while. So, new computer, but more money. Switch, but not really playing it too much. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, Challenger. Actually, his name might be Wally. He told me about you. Something like that. He said another Challenger's on the way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. 
The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. Sure thing. Alright, if this were a grass type gym, this would be so easy. Like, Krat would just destroy everyone. Um, I'd be Azalea's falling behind. Let's throw Aggie Azalea out. Because he, like, he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any, um. Attacking moves. All he has is Metron home. Botanist Christine. Is that a heavy name? Alright, I can, I can dig that. Um, I guess we'll just match him. Quick Claw 5. Forgot he had the Quick Claw. Curse. Alright, that's fine. I miss in Gen 3. At, le at least in... Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I don't remember if they did it in Fire and Leaf Green. When you raised or low twice in a row, when you raised or lowered a stat, like each stat had a color. I think, I think like attack was red. No! Special attack was like blue and, and stuff like that, so it was it was cool. But now it's just all one color, and it makes me sad. Um, we'll go with Peter because Aggie Azalea is probably getting boxed for what just happened. I know it's, I know it's not his fault, but also. All I can do really is confuse things with sweet kiss. That's that's pretty much it. Yawn. Oh now I can put things to sleep. So hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'll keep it in the squad until I get another decent encounter. I'm not gonna box it yet. Lola, what do you want? Okay, um, we'll this way. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, so I've had I've had a bit of a morning. Um I set my alarm for like 6.30, because I meant to get home earlier than I did last night, um, I went to my friend's house, and we, did, we just hung out for a while, I didn't end up getting home until like 12.30, um, so I plan on getting home earlier than that, and doing at least like one or two videos, um, that did not happen, so I meant, so I, the reads, uh, so I meant to get up early, and that did not happen. I didn't end up getting up until about 9. Um, and then I go to let the dog out. And she was taking forever to come back in. So I go out to see what was happening. And I look out and she's rolling around in the field. Let me let me show you if you can see. I forgot to draw something. Nope, anyway, okay. Out those windows right there is a field. And uh, she was just rolling around something up there. I'm like, well, that's not good. So I call her back, and she takes forever, um, because she just didn't want to come. Um, so she comes finally, and she smells awful. She must have been rolling around in something dead. So I had to call my sister and be like, what do I do here? So she was basically like, just, just take her outside, hose her down, and uh, just throw a ball to her for a while, 
until she um, dries off. So I did that, and oh my god, it was so bad. Like, like honestly, I almost puked. Like as soon as I, like as soon as she came in, like that that mud room. Oh, good. Um, yeah, as soon as she came in that mud room, it I could tell. I'm like, oh my god. Here we go. We know what we have. Does Foresight work like that? I know Older Sleuth works like that, where it gets rid of the, uh, the opponent's evasiveness. To hit an evasive foe. Alright. Sleep now. I'm gonna use four sleep. Because I'm not gonna risk missing. Some kind of challenge. Ooh. It lived. Oh, it must, it must have thick fat. Choice facts. Although she still kind of smells. Um, so we're gonna go heal up, and we're gonna we're gonna put uh, Eggy in the bag. Let's give Hopper a run. Actually, you know what? Let's let's put Littlefoot out front. Cause Littlefoot it just doesn't hit very hard. As much as I love Tropius, uh, I think if I get a better Grass type, I'll probably switch it. But having a grass type is really nice. 
Bailey, what are you doing? She's like rubbing her back on the, on the sofa. No, I didn't. Oh, baby. He's an interesting dog. Come through, buddy. Writer Joe. The Salabi. Oh boy. I don't think everybody on my team had bug titans, but they don't. Uh, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. That did a lot more than I thought it would. That did nothing. I'm pretty sure it's quad resisted move just did more than my super effective one. I guess we're just gonna keep doing this now. Let me crit. Just, just let me crit. There you go, Salabi. No, you don't, Salabi. Cool. All right. There we crit. Okay. Only 301 experience. Come on. That's not good. Raider Joe is defeated. Alright, so I think now we can fight the gym leader. And we're almost to the end of the episode, but you know what? I'm okay with making this an extra long episode. I had planned on doing a pow an hour of power anyway. Um, I decided not to, just because um, I feel like getting more episodes out rather than just an hour of power. Plus, if I was going to do an hour of power, I would do it for episode 10. And I decided that I'm not going to do that anyway, so. We'll go heal up. Actually, what do we have for potions? If we have potions, then I think we're... You know what? Let's just do it. We're feeling risky. Plus, we have Cravat. Like, Lola! Good cat. That cat's actually insane. I'm sorry I just blasted your ears off. I might mute that. But yeah, she was just... She likes to climb things, including the curtains. I'm Eternus to City's gym leader, Gardini, the grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Alright, Chica. Versus Rachel. You look like a Rachel. Gardenia looks like a Rachel. I could totally see that. Games here. Hmm. Tropius, you're really, you're really screwing the pooch here, buddy. There you go. All right, at least you made up for it. Gotta crit him again. Crit her again. 
There you go. Come on now. Use those fruit. You got those fruit for a reason. Honestly though, who at Game Freak was like, let's make a dinosaur out of a tree, but let's make it fly with leaves. Like, how high must they have been? Like, uh, some of these Pokemon are like, you know, pretty obvious, where it's like, okay, let's just make like a cat Pokemon, like, yeah, that's fine. Let's make, um, electric rodents, like, a Dutch blue ton of them, I almost swear. Um, Oh! Okay, then. <sighs> um, let's take a whale and make it look intense. We're in trouble here. We are in trouble here. Um. have to do some finagling here. We're probably gonna... I, said we're... I was about to say, we're probably gonna lose somebody. Alright, Aggie. This... Oh god, this... Why? Why a Kyogre? Okay, what is your special defense? You have 45 and 40. Very sweet special defense. Okay, so Peter's Peter is more bulky. The bat's even bulkier still. But man. Hopper resists, but he can't do anything bad. I think, I think we go Peter. This is probably not gonna do 50%. over. Okay. Here's what's gonna have to happen. damage to it as I possibly can. So that's why that's why I just sacked put uh blazer so I could quick attack it. Even though that did nothing. Um Hopper can probably live one water pulse. And then we'll have to I think Peck will do more damage. Actually no between stab and the rain it's what both will do more. Body slam. So I don't think I do not think we'll live that. 
Oh, and Torrents. We get a Torrent boost. That's still probably gonna do like six. Resisted, but I think it's my only chance is to hope for a freeze, even though I think it will be faster. I could sand attack. I think that is my only play. I really do think that's my only play. Let's go, just go sand attack and hope for misses. And that's probably gonna kill me, so never mind. Okay. Are you. Oh my god, we were not meant to win this battle. We were not meant to win this battle. So the only way that we win is if it it didn't miss. So that's unfortunate. You know what? There is still a very small amount of life left. It's not that neg one accuracy. It's at plus two everything else, but okay. Crit. Crit, please. Alright, little foot. Little foot, you can do this. That's okay. You just gotta credit, buddy. You just gotta do it. It's a high crit move, Tropius. I know you can do this. Wasting a turn on healing because anything it does to us will kill us. It's at, it's at plus two. Even uh, a water pulse in the rain, I think, will kill us. And there it is. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode as much as I didn't, man. That's so upsetting. That is so upsetting. I, we will definitely revisit this game at some point in time. Um, that's so. That makes me so sad. Cause I don't have anything ready for the next project. Um, So I guess I'll just announce it. Um, I mean, it won't take me very long to get ready. I'll probably just do it in the next couple minutes, but basically, the next project on the channel is going to be our second Cool Lock. That is right, we are doing a Pokemon Gold Cool Lock. It basically is another randomizer Nuzlocke, um, but this time a little bit of a twist. Makes it a little bit harder. Not that clearly we need it to be any harder, but red was pretty easy, so I thought I, added, uh, I, thought I would add a couple things so I will explain that in the first episode, which will come out, I don't even know when this one's going out, honestly, I'm bulk recording. So it'll come out probably two or three days from today. So thank you so much for watching. The support on this uh, on this project's been pretty, pretty phenomenal. Um, so I really, I do all this for you guys. Um, a little bit for me. Uh, but like I said, support is outstanding. Keep watching GSL. Hopefully by now we are in week. 
week five. I think we'll be in week five, so support your Cortland uh, Red Gyarados. Should be making a playoff push right about now. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say. It's going to be kind of a long episode today, um, but what are you going to do? So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, I've done this outro like five times already this episode. Uh, follow me on Twitch and Twitter, at ThatCoolTrainer. And until next series, smile later.